were only yesterday when it happened. He came, said someone was after him, and he was right. Bastards destroyed me ship and took your man. Something were off about him. Wandsworth kept scratching himself, and a day after they're gone, my crew turned. He and Wandsworth studied similarly blue corals long ago, but they locked it away when the experiments made it dangerous. Now it seems clear Wandsworth has been colonised by it, and it's using him to spread. A colonised vector is brain dead. They're still living bodies completely controlled by the coral's polyps. It doesn't know how to talk, yet by all accounts, Wandsworth was lucid and talking, so maybe he can still be cured. So these colonists, their bodies are being controlled by coral? Belay that! We have to find Wandsworth before he spreads them anywhere else. But before they can do anything... Yes. It's the Alchemist Guild's underwater flagship, <laughs> the Rorkel. It's got your ship in a vice grip. For now, it seems you're trapped. What's the meaning of this? Release my ship this instant. I demand to speak with your captain. Captain Perinel Conroy, I believe you have Thomas Turlinger on board. He's wanted for illegal human experimentation. <gasps> Turn him over, and you can be on your way. There you are. We turned a blind eye to your dangerous experiments for too long, Turlinger. Before Thomas can say anything, he spots a familiar face among the alchemists. Welcome back, sir. Though it appears we've found ourselves in a bit of a pickle. It's Wandsworth himself. So the Rorkel was at Fort Rasp. Thomas needs to get Wandsworth back. But how? He only has a moment to decide. Mm, I don't know why Hello is jumping though. Maybe to distract. <laughs> Thomas isn't usually one to do the right thing. But maybe he can start today. No, no, no. He's very important to me. A notorious pirate captain must be worth quite a bit. But is it enough? <laughs> well, I don't think he'll become like a permanent character for us. Perhaps if Thomas is fast enough, you can tip the odds with a single shot. <sighs> How many finesse do you have? Oh my god. <laughs> that... Um, that's an impossible shot, I feel like. I mean, what happens if it failed? We'll fight, which I'm fine with. Yeah. <laughs> I don't trust this, but we'll see. Oops. Good thing Thomas isn't dueling in a Western. Is that your answer? Very well. Attack! Thomas has to get to Wandsworth before it's too late. Thomas has to get to Wandsworth before it's too late. Oh, okay. Uh, it's okay. Stop jumping. <laughs> I can one-shot him technically. Almost. easy but at this point everything is <laughs> even he joins okay
I think she should focus on just nuking. how it works. Reinforcements from below decks are coming up to join the fight. I guess I'll just help him. I'm curious when this game will become like challenging because it is not. I'm not sure whose fault is that, but oh, Thomas has to come here. Also, I like that I can just come back, like, the end of the turn is like deciding factor. More reinforcements! How many alchemists are hiding down there? breathes a sigh of relief. Wandsworth is still alive. Thank you for coming all this way, sir. But I'm afraid it's far too late for me. Wandsworth pulls down his collar to reveal his neck. The coral infection has reached his spine. Wandsworth hands him a notebook. I trust you'll be able to make sense of this. Now, if you'll indulge me in one final request, please allow me to die as Wandsworth, faithful servant of Thomas Turlinger. Thomas breathes a sigh of relief. Wandsworth is still alive. Wandsworth deserves so much more. Ensuring he doesn't turn into a coral creature is the least Thomas can do. Thomas needs to secure their escape. And the infection in Wandsworth could do to the Rorkel what it did to Fort Rasp. <laughs> I should do it, but it's a very dick move, so... <laughs> it's been a privilege, sir. Thomas can grieve later. They need to secure their escape first. Which is fine. <laughs> Like, I should choose violence over everything, all the time. That's the bridge of the Alchemist ship. Your scoundrel should be able to create an escape route with it. Your 
scoundrel quickly identifies the vital controls in the bridge. This won't take long. Oh, okay, like that. <laughs> I will kill them faster than he can come back. More reinforcements! How many alchemists are hiding down there? Unless they keep coming. Overloads and well, you can see for yourself. The rockle is starting to sink. Get back to your ship. Uh, fast, right? <laughs> oh, huh? see, that actually came in handy. <laughs> What, you can't move? Uh, okay. I will make you move. I guess I should protect him just in case. Everything has a consequence in this game. One more. That's absolutely okay. Then <laughs> move. This is it. You can leave the Rorkel behind now. Blimey. Is this what you've been up to all this time? I thought I was going to be feeding the fishes. You got grog in your cabins? Well, I'll be helping myself. <laughs> Thomas looks at the Rorkel as it sinks. The crew scrambling back into the vessel. It pains him that he was unable to save Wandsworth. At least he was able to give his faithful manservant the ending he wanted. Yeah. So, they managed to repair the Rorkel and make it to port. Hopefully that's the end of the Coral's plans for colonization. Oh, I don't think so. Wandsworth's notes reveal that the assassins who murdered the governor are the arms of the Kraken. Does the Mastermind also worship the Kraken? Wait, there's more. According to this, the Mastermind holds a grudge against the Scoundrels. This confirms that the Mastermind is someone from the Scoundrels' past. Your Scoundrels don't get much time to ponder their next move. A sail! Two masks! Dead ahead! Wait, is that... 
Less than a mile ahead is a vessel you never imagined you'd see again. Captain Frost's old ship sunk seven years ago. Just like its captain. What? It is, isn't it? Frost's ship. But we saw it go down, wrecked by that storm. But there it is. Back from the deep. And sailing away with Frost herself at the wheel. Could Frost have been behind this all along? There's only one way to find out. As you follow her ship, it becomes clear it's headed for a location all too familiar to the scoundrels. Everything is finally coming together. Select a new ability for your scoundrels. <laughs> is it though? It's like a labyrinth of plans or whatever. Hammer gets action points. Luna more HP. Maybe some upgrades are like limited. Like only one card. I didn't. Only one destination <laughs> left. Does it matter then what we choose at the end of the day? 